So hello everyone in this video we will be understanding about how we can create our login and register page. So basically we will be designing the login and register page in this video and in the next video we will be adding the functionality to it. So let's go to our code and design the pages. So in here I will be creating a simple div which will be having a class. First of all I have to create a CSS module file that I can create. Let me just name it uh, login.module.css and now I can import these styles from this file. Import styles from dot backslash and then login.module.css Now in here I'll be adding the styles and then uh, the class name login underscore underscore card and just like before we'll be copying the styling will not be uh, styling or because it is not a CSS course that I should write the CSS and uh, line by line I've already written the CSS we'll just be going over through that also one more thing uh, I forgot to tell you that you have to install uh, two more packages in the client side uh, the packages will be uh, the Axios package. Let me just go to the client first. Uh, npm install Axios. So this will be the package by which we'll be making requests to our backend. And the other one is and design. So the and design uh, is a basically a component library in React.js by which we can create different components. Or uh, basically, it has different components like models and and uh, like uh, the buttons and other things and pop-up windows models and all these things are available inside this component library so make, we can make use of that and we can beautify our application with the help of this library you can also check uh, in their official documentation that what it does so we can search for and design and this is their uh, basically website you can go over through that and see what are the components that they provide basically so in this uh, you can see they provide button pre-made pre buttons icons typography divider and other buttons are also there so you can uh, check through that and it, it is just like material UI you can consider it like that so in here so after this is installed then we'll be uh, creating the different form elements basically so i'll be giving it a style okay first of all i have to add one image of uh, login let me just add alt and after that i can add h4 as login and for this login image I can import this login image because I told you that uh, this asset I will be providing you so it will be available inside the assets slash and let me just see the name it is login right so it is login you can uh, write login.png here and then this image will be added now in here i'll be adding input wrapper so let me just see the styling or the class name so it is input wrapper here yeah. so it will be input wrapper why i'm uh, giving the streams uh, class name because i have already css prepared so i don't have to write uh, different style name now in here I'll be importing the input and it will contain placeholder uh, let's say username and then we will be also having a value field this value field contain uh, the username state and on change on change set 
target dot value so we can username set username I can write and then we can use use state and so this is it and then we can copy this line and we can make use of input the other input will be for the password so we'll be writing password here set password uh, okay input and then that will be working let me just import it from import input from the and design okay so that will work and yeah that should work now let me just copy the styling also so I didn't have to, I don't have to write every styling again let me just copy it and paste it inside the login dot module CSS so this is basically the styling uh, that will add the shadow and the uh, like the size of the uh, card of the login card basically let me just see that how it is looking go to the login page uh, let me just save it also now what you have to do is in the app.js uh, one more thing you have to do is you have to import the styling of the and design because that is also important so for that what we can do is import and then we can write and design slash we have dist dist is the folder and we have uh, here reset.css let me just show you that as well so when we install packages any package that comes in the node modules folder inside that we have the uh, and design folder you can see that so all the packages related to and design will be available inside this folder in the dist there is a, a file called reset.css so it will add the CSS all the CSS styling for the components that we will be using for example I use the uh, and design input component so that input component will be having the styling such as box shadow or borders other things so that will be basically uh, done by that CSS file so if I save this so let me just one more thing use state okay let me just call the use state as well use state oh no it should be okay uh, password I have to also copy in so that should work password password is there right password value password set password it may be having some problem let me just refresh it again okay now we can see uh, this is there so let's create the bottom uh, text here now okay so in here there will be a dev now dev class name and the styles dot uh, input info I think that was the class 
and after that I'll be giving a message that new user uh, user question mark then you should register 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 if I save it see the styling okay let me just import this link as well okay should be there link is imported right sometimes it gets an error if you refresh the page it doesn't give that so you can see uh, the bottom text is also there now what we need to do is we need to add the button now button will say login and in here and this button is coming basically from the and design so the styling will be already there now what I have to do is I have to also tell the size of it or like let's say I have to tell it that when you will be disabled so if you don't have username and if you don't have password then you will be disabled and then after that I can add on click method on this that will be adding handle submit or handle login you can write whatever you feel that does good uh, then this function nothing but say login okay now after that uh, everything is done we also need to add uh, loading and other things that will be adding when we will be adding the functionality so that's it let me just see the button okay yeah, yeah okay so the button is coming if you want to make it a little bit larger so you can give size attribute here and inside that you can specify that it is a large button so this button will be a little bit larger okay so that is it if I write something let's say and this so it will be oh, okay so it's a normal button we also need to tell the type of this button so type primary okay so the primary button will be there so this is the primary button and yeah also this password is not like a password so have to make it like a password so I have to do password input and then you can specify dot password uh, like it is kind of destructured in the password so now if I write you can see it uh, is also giving me that this show and hide icon of the password similarly what you can do is you can uh, make use of this same styling or the same form in the register as well if I just paste it instead of login what we'll be doing is uh, instead of login we'll be just writing register here and let me just make it so in this I don't want to change it yeah in this I change so I'm replacing all the uh, field which is uh, like all the text which says login so register is there now I can say register and in this we also need two fields basically so in here or I can write existing user existing uh, existing user and we can uh, tell the person to login to go to the login and we also need one more one, two more fields basically so I can copy this dev and after that I can specify input inline wrapper that will be the class I think inline 
uh, yeah and this will be having two fields so two input fields it will be having so one will be for the first name I can write first name set first name I can copy it and the second one will be having the last name last name and then after that I can write last name and for that I have to create the class uh, the states as well so first name set first name and then use state and this the second one will be the last name set last name and then this use state so this will be done uh, I think let me just go to the register page okay first name first name first name it is there but I told you that it sometimes gives this error okay so you can see this is having the fields uh, let me just give some margin to it a little bit in this field in this input field basically so I can give style margin left 10 pixel so that will work okay you can see that it is having the styling now this is it I hope you got something in the next video we'll be adding the functionality for the login let's meet in the next video thank you for watching